Turner, 43 kilo world champion. How long have you been waiting to hear that? Uh, this is world team trial, so like six months. Uh, it's not really the end goal for me. Uh, this is girls. I want to win boys state. I want to win the Olympics. So there's still stuff to push through and push forward. So I've been hearing it for wanting to hear it for six months, but I want to go past that. I don't want to just be known as uh, U17 world champ. So I want to go past that. I want to be known as the 12-time Olympic champ, the one, the only, the greatest who's ever done it. I, I don't want to be just known as um, a world team champ. So. Where does that inspiration come from? Um, my mom, mostly. Uh, big influence. Um, what's it called? I wouldn't be here without her. So, I want to thank her. The, the pain, the suffering that I put her through these past months of being a, a hectic teenager. I want to thank her for always being there for me no matter what it is that I do. The actions that come with being a, a crazy teenage child. Um, back black sheep of the family, but she loves me more, more than any of her other kids. So I want to thank her for her for that. My coach Quint, um, coming out of retirement kind of for me and training me privately, talking through the phone, uh, do work no matter what he has to do. Coach Noble on the whole other side of the country, uh, watching at four o'clock in the morning, hoping and praying that I win. Uh, being there for me since I was seven years old uh, on a travel team. Um, my coach, Coach Reed, who the footwork and the, the, the preparation would not be there at all without him. Um, so I wanna thank them because I wouldn't be here. Sunkiss Kids for giving me the opportunity to putting me on that next level, putting me on that, that high scene, um, to be able to compete at this high level because no one would know my name right now. People would still be bashing me if I wouldn't, wasn't with Sunkiss. But, but most importantly, my brother, who's smart as heck, uh, who's pushed me and been the best training partner uh, to me for these past 10 years. Um, broken shoulder, still practicing with me no matter what I do, checking on me every day. And my biggest supporter, my little sister Brooklyn, um, supports me no matter where she's at. She doesn't care what time it is, she's still gonna call and tell me congratulations, did I wrestle, uh, did I lose, did I win. Coaching me from the phone, coaching me from the sideline, coaching me at the mat, uh, my biggest supporter Brooklyn. I would not be here without all those names that I just named right now. So what were you thinking at the end? You needed points, you went out and got it, and they didn't give it to you right away. What went keep, through your mind? Keep wrestling. We just talked about this as a Team USA. Keep practicing and keep pushing no matter what the circumstances. I knew I had to. I knew that I was going to be fine. My mom knew that I was going to be fine. That's why she challenged the call. So, so going out there, keeping my head and making sure that I wrestle through the whistle no matter what the time is. And when, you, oh, go ahead. when you think of Japanese grace, there's two things that come to mind. They score early and they score late. When did your motor start to get running that, you know that Japanese style, they're coming for you late. Oh my, it, it's always, it's always running no matter what on and off the mat. Um, I knew she's a great competitor, great competitor. One of the best competitors that I've had in my life. She's a, a, a phenomenal competitor. I'm not taking nothing away from that. Very, 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 they're trained very well. I do not see a team like Japan. How they practice is crazy. I don't think I would be able to endure the practice that they have. They're very respectful, and USA is privileged. We don't, we, we, I mean, we have good wrestlers, but we're not disciplined how they are. I see them all on the line listening. They're very great competitors, and I knew that in that match, going into that match, I needed to be on point and solid. I knew going into that match that she was going to be a strong and good competitor. I knew that I was going to have to get low because she was shorter than me. I knew that I was going to have to push the pace of that match and intake in that match. It was very hard, wrestled through it, but, but she was a, a great competitor, a great competitor. Well, congratulations. Uh, do you think that you met your achievement level here? Did you wrestle?
vessel to the ability that you believe in yourself? Yes. Honestly, if I was my my five year old self, my six year old self, my seven year old self, I would have quit. I would have cried. I wouldn't have got off the mat until they told me I won. I've definitely matured in the level that I, I think is great. Um, going out there and being able to stay calm as as they're challenging at the last couple seconds. Um, I feel like um, when I was smaller, I would get mad because I wouldn't get my way. I had a very bad temper. If I would have lost, then I think I would have. I, I don't think I would be. I wouldn't be sitting here right now if I would have still had that mindset as a six-year-old, as a sixth grader. I would have been throwing a fit. Everything would have been on the floor. But I have matured in a way that I cannot explain. I'm, I'm more. My mindset is better. I'm greater than what I was before. So I believe I definitely achieved higher expectations than I think I should have. Congratulations. Thank you. Great job, Lori. No, hey.